good game. Man. Yeah, they screwed up with that rook. Yeah. That was a good game. Today? The right guys are there. They're playing for huge money. Yeah. I know that the Pythagorean theorem, sorry, the transitive property is a whole. That's crazy. Another one? What happened to you? I asked if you came with the bicycle. Ah, I think, no, no.
Hey guys, Brent here, and what a crazy game, just like Jeff said, and I think going over here, when Marla pushed the pawn, that was definitely not intentional, because he's basically, uh, you know, giving himself up, if Jeff finds it, he's going to take it, and uh, Marla didn't move the king for like two moves, so definitely uh, blindness on both sides, and what do I say, man, lateral moves, hardest to see, right, for both players. So I think that's what happened there, and the power of two pawns is crazy. It was a crazy comeback by Marlo, and the power of two pawns, like I said, it's crazy. I think Jeff thought maybe the rook was here guarding this pawn. That's why he moved back, but look at that eval bar. It goes from uh, mate in 14 for, for white to mate in 22 for black. So going over here, just taking here, and this could be one continuation. But uh, but yeah, this is a crazy comeback by Marlo to finish it off. That's why you never give up, never surrender. And that was beautifully done by Marlo. And the crazy thing was, like, the beginning of the game, it seemed like Jeff was uh, was uh, crushing, and he was. And in this position, we had Bishop takes g5. Let's play. Let's go move back. There's a cute tactic here for White that was missed. Let's see if you can find it. Yes, Bishop takes c7. If King takes, then you have kind of like a windmill here. And boom, boom, check, and then you have the pawn fork here, take, and then you have the fork, and take. So going back here, maybe knight e6, and bishop takes, and white is winning. But th this great, 
attacked by Jeff early on, but Marlo battled back and freaking uh, went to like equality. Look at this uh, after kind of here. He's dead even, and he sacks his queen like a boss of all bosses, man. And it was a beautiful combo tactic, taking advantage of this pin. Rook takes, and computer didn't like it, but it, you know, definitely a very uh, unorthodox, aggressive move. And and I think that kind of helped contribute to Jeff not saying certain things like like uh, this lateral move and also those two pawns rolling up. Uh, when you have somebody play unorthodox like that, it can kind of mess with your senses and perceptions, I think. But Beautiful game by both. Nicely done, Marlo. Way to never give up, never surrender. And Jeff, man, if you wondered how he lost that, now he knows, right? The, the ladder move and also King takes. And he was under time pressure as well. Maybe he thought the Rook, again, was under there. That one a little later on. But, man, it's crazy how your perception can be warped when you're playing 3D chess in real life as opposed to, like, uh, 2D online. So beautifully done by both. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought of the game. Comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe at the bonification. Thanks. We'll see you guys tomorrow.